Hello, Homer. Ah, it's me! I see him again! Monster, you don't exist! Gah! Hey, no one calls me a monster and questions my existence! The awesome power of the human mind. I see Ray, too. So do I. Uh-oh. Well, I'm not worried. You've already agreed not to sue me for anything. When did I agree to that? You did when I validated your parking. You didn't validate my parking. Check and mate. <laughs> so Ray does exist? That's right. Now let's explore the improbable series of events that led to this amusing yet tragic farce. On account of my eye patch, I couldn't see Ray sitting at the bar. All I saw was you, eating and drinking and talking to yourself. And Ned, you didn't see me because I was hiding behind the chimney. <laughs> hey, gee, I thought my vision was perfect, and here I was, worshipping false eyeballs. Wait, 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 wait. How come at Builder's Barn I saw Homer talking to thin air? Well, that... Hmm. I can answer that. I've been tracking a tear in the fabric of space-time, which combined with airborne pieces of metal at Builder's Barn to create a miniature black hole. This anomaly interposed itself between Homer and Bart, causing a gravitational lens, which absorbed the light reflected from Ray the Roofer. That seems... feasible. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, there's still one last thing that doesn't make sense. Why did you start fixing our roof and then just disappear? That's easy. I'm a contractor. <laughs> <laughs>